Okay, this lecture is going to be all about layering video and other media tracks to get desired effects. And there are a couple of things that layering can do for you. Well, let me just show you an example. You can essentially stack callouts so that you can see all of them and that they come in at different times. So that's one benefit of layering. The second benefit is that you can actually repair little errors that you may have in your video by layering another little chunk of video on top of it to cover up the error. And then a third benefit of it is that you can do a little picture in picture. So first let's talk about layering these callouts. And you can see in this case I've layered three callouts on top of each other on different tracks. And the purpose of that is that I'm able to go into the first callout and you can see it pop up and then it's there for a moment to give the viewer a moment to read it and process it and then we go into the second call out gives you another moment to read and process that one and then it goes into the third call out and if you didn't layer these the way it would look would be like this they'd be all lined up on the same track and it would go through them one at a time like that. And the reason I like to use layering is particularly in a situation like this where it's only over the course of about 20 seconds here that I have to get all of this information in because I'm talking fast. So if I have them come on the screen and then disappear, you can see these are only 8 seconds long. Then it's just a little bit fast and it's a little much for the brain to process. So if I undo these and go back to how I had it before, by layering them, you get a little more chance to process them if your brain gets behind my rapid talking. So that's the first way to use layering. I'm going to go ahead and delete all these. So I can load an image into my clip bin. I can drag the image onto here, create that as a layer over that. I can just shrink it down, plop it in there. And there it is. So as I go through this, you see the little microphone in there. And then once that image is complete, then it just reverts back to the main video. But that's basically how you layer things on top of each other. And you can imagine how easy it would be to fix something if you had a mistake in your video somewhere. So let's get rid of that to simplify things. Now let's say that I had a mistake. As I'm going along here, let's say that I clicked the button and I uploaded this file explorer too soon in my video. I didn't want to do it right here. I wanted to do it over here. What I can do is I can take the clip that I was on, just grab a chunk of it, and I'm not going to do this super scientifically again, but copy that, come over here, paste it, got to get rid of the audio, one thing you'll just kind of get used to. Whenever you kind of steal another piece of video, you have to make sure you get rid of the audio so you're not doubling up on your audio. So now you can see as I'm coming along here, normally, right, this is where that comes up. So see right here, it comes up. If I take this and put it over that, then it just stays as the original video until the end of this little cropped piece. And then it goes to that other piece. So if my timing was such that I wanted to start talking about this piece right here, then I just bought myself an extra 11 seconds of the original video so that I have more time to get into what I'm actually talking about. So you can use this layering with a number of things to either, like I say, to do this one, where you add an image, or even a small video, like you could do a headshot video, add that into the larger screen or you can do repairs like I just showed you with this one do little patches to your video to fix errors or you can layer callouts like I did earlier for the introduction just to make transitions smoother and to kind of create a better viewer experience